Okay, testing, one, two, three. I think I'm live. Let's just wait for it. Let's see if we're live. Let's see, I think we're on. Oh no, it's giving me an advert. It's giving me an advert before my own video to see if, to see if I'm even live. Skip, skip that advert. Okay, can we see? How's everyone doing? Hello! Yay! Lots of us here, this is really cool. I've tried to do a new setup in the kitchen. So you are gonna be so pleased to know that I've got not one camera, but two. So look at this, I'm about to switch on the close-up food camera. Boom, boom, boom! This is what we're gonna have! <laughs> How geeky is this? I love it! So, oh, the only problem is my sleeves today are going to be touching this hob. So what do we think, guys? Are we pleased with this? What do we, should I put this down a little bit? Maybe here? I think maybe that will look good. Um, unfortunately, I can't stretch the GoPro any further, so I can't quite get the bird's eye view that I'm looking for, because my wire isn't long enough. So yeah, this is the best it's gonna be. So I'll switch that off for now, and I'll just be here. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Oh, thanks so much for joining. You know what? I was just going to do a um, a normal live stream, a chatty one. And then I was like, do you know what, Leah? Just try and give it a go. You know, the other day I said, well, the other week, I said, oh, well, I'm going to try and do a live stream with two angles. And I was watching YouTube tutorials for ages to see how I could get it working. And then about 20 minutes before this live, I managed to get it working. So really pleased about this. <laughs> I'm just going to zoom in and see what everybody's saying. Good that you're all here and it's good that everyone can hear me because I've got a microphone on this one as well. Um, so I'm just going to tilt it down a little bit. Hopefully when I am cooking it's not going to be too like and you're hopefully still going to be able to hear me. Um, live now live and no captioning being said. Ah oh, damn it. I just I'm trying to get that all enabled but it's i think it's something that can only happen afterwards uh, i do need to look into it more kelly kelly morgan thank you so much so kind and just scroll past your comment let's read it out loud hi leah get a package of red cups for your college party <laughs> well they're very rare to come by kelly thank you so much um i'll have to do that i will have to do that Gosh, that's really scary every time. Shall I change my top or is it too late, isn't it, really? That's going to keep happening. So, guys, I've got no idea what I'm cooking today. <laughs> I did see a recipe online for um, this thing, this jackfruit curry. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll try and make that because we're trying new vegetarian things. And I found this, like, jackfruit and stuff online well i saw it actually in the health shop because you don't really find it in the supermarkets here so i thought maybe i'll give it a go like i've got no idea how it's going to behave i've never cooked with jackfruit before but i've tried it so when i was at a um uh it was like a festival it was a theater thing uh they had like these pulled pork style jackfruit burgers and i remember really enjoying it i don't know if it's because they flavored it so well that it actually tasted like you could have been eating pulled pork or if it was just do you know what i mean it was just really really nice i'm not expecting mine to turn out as good as that but let's see how it goes hello everyone um thanks for joining wow there's quite a lot of us here um i should probably i should probably get going but i just want to chat to everyone and I, I want this to be smooth i want it to be like saturday kitchen like effortless you know just just get the rice out like no big deal hopefully the rice won't like overflow as i'm doing it um but yeah so what's everyone been up to comment below if you've got snow where you are because <laughs> we've got absolutely none here in chichester so i keep looking at the wrong camera the camera's over there oh and i need to switch on my um my special food cam let's see how it okay Okay, so if I go there, you guys can see it more than if I go here. <laughs> well, this is going to be a lot of fun, isn't it, guys? Who knows how long it's going to take me to make dinner. Um, I know it might be morning for a lot of you, so uh, 
Cameron, hey, love these live streams. But are you done or on hiatus making regular videos? Oh my gosh. Uh, kind of don't even want to... I don't know why, Cameron, but... Thanks for your, thank you for your donation and thank you for your comment. I think it's something I'm trying to avoid. Um, for some reason, I've, I've been trying to get, get going and like get filming and get editing. And I, I've just got a bit of a mental block at the moment. And I, and I, I don't really know what, what is so hard. But for instance, the other day I set up for filming a video idea I had and I just, I just couldn't do it. Like I was just like, why does this feel so hard? Why do I not know what to say anymore? Like, it was almost like someone who'd never done a YouTube video in their life. 150 grams of rice. And, um, yeah, I just... Please don't tell me to wash this rice. This one's kind of good. Other rice I've had before, I have washed it, but this one I don't, because it tastes fine. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really sorry about, like, the lack of main channel videos. I just... I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know if it's the lockdown or I've just got a mental block and I just I just can't seem to, to get it. I can't seem to do it. So um, yeah, I know you do. As a YouTuber, you, you take the hit on views. If you don't upload videos regularly, you do take the hit because people just stop coming to your channel. But hopefully with these live streams, people that are really loyal and people that actually like me <laughs> show up. Do you know what I mean? So. Yeah, I'm just going to put some boiling hot water on the rice. Um, and then I'm going to look at the comments and see who's got uh, snow where they are. I know there's quite a lot of snow in Texas right now. So, yeah. 15 inches of snow for the week, if not more. Blimey, that is a lot, isn't it? It's a lot of snow. Okay, I'm going to put that on to boil. It's the lockdown, yeah. Thank you, thank you guys for understanding. I mean, I just, like I said, I really don't know what is going on with me. I just, I can't seem to do it. I filmed one video this week and it was actually in the kitchen. Um, haven't edited it yet because it's gonna be a mammoth edit. It's got like a main camera, it's got a second camera on the food. And then I also filmed the whole thing for Instagram Reels. So like I filmed it on my phone as well. And I was just like, I don't even want to start editing that. I don't even want to look at it. But um, yeah. Oh, thank you, Jay. Leah, you look so pretty and comfy and casual. Um, I've got eyelashes on today. I just just wanted to like jazz it up a little bit. Hopefully the sound of that is not too distracting. If it is, I can potentially bring this microphone closer. Let's see. Test, test, test just in case it's really loud. Or oh, I could turn it down. Oh, Technicon! <laughs> the Cypriot Nigella Lawson is in the house. Love this, Leah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Technicon. Um, oh, damn it, the sleeves. We're gonna have this all day. Also, I'm a bit worried that when I lean over, I'm missing things. Oh no, Grace said, my cat is not a fan of your stove beeps. I am so sorry. It's probably not a nice sound, is it? I'm gonna have to, if I turn the mic down a little bit, hopefully it's not too, ah, oh, I wore the wrong top, I really did. Um, Rosa, Roseanne, thank you so much. She said, um, if writers have writer's block, YouTubers can have creator's block. Yeah, I think that is kind of what I feel like at the moment, but not just creative block, like there's some ideas there, but the execution of them, I just can't, I, I, I set it all up and my camera's up and then I start filming the video and then I just crumble because I'm like, this is so, this, is, this isn't good enough or I don't know, I just start beating myself up and then I just pack it all away and feel really, um, I don't know, just like disheartened. So I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Grace. He's left. Beep away. Thank you. Because I will turn this rice down, but I was worried about your cat. So let's just... I'll turn the mic, mic down while I turn it down. I'll turn the rice down. Test, test. Test, test. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> use it as your therapist you could do videos telling us how you're feeling yeah that's a good point i mean i i definitely could do that um i could just open up and talk about everything there's a, there's a lot of stuff i i'm not able to talk about at the moment on youtube that i want to tell you guys but i can't um because it's not my news to tell but i will soon and um well i'm sure you guys will see it because as i have mentioned we're probably but well, we we are we will be leaving Chichester this year at some point. I'm not sure exactly when. So, yeah. Um. Ah, oh, this jumper. Everyone's telling me to change. Not everyone. A few. I'll just. Shall I quickly change, or is that going to be really distracting? Uh. I don't know whether to change quickly. Um, no, do you know what? <laughs> Burgermeister. Burgermeister, sorry I'm late. It's okay, I can't leave now because the late fees are coming in, guys. The late fees are coming in thick and fast and I can't just leave because people will be like, I'm late and she's not even here. So I definitely can't do that. Um, yeah. I think, I think, um, people are saying go and change, go and change. Um, all right, one sec. I know it's not the best, but white's not the best for cooking. <laughs> Isn't it funny that when you change, more people have joined the live, I've actually got more viewers when I'm not here. <laughs> not here, not talking, just the camera on in my kitchen and more people are joining. Lovely. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just going to fill this up. More water. Yeah, so thanks for being so patient with me whilst I went into my room, had a panic that I didn't have any clothes. And then put on like the one white t-shirt that I always wear. Appreciate that. <laughs> that was so quick. <laughs> Guys, why is the um the camera quality really low on the main on the main one? Is it clear for you or is it blurry? Kinda looks a bit blurry for me. But it is an HD camera, so it should be nice and clear. Do you have a ghost or is that in the room behind you? No, the light goes off automatically in that bathroom, so that's why. <laughs> um, yeah, right, so and I should probably start chopping up some onions and stuff for this curry that I'm supposedly making. Let's not forget why we're here. Onions, peppers. Do you guys have these in America? shallots or wherever you are absolutely well i'll show you them here these are just the absolute bomb they're just like nature's little gift baby onions but they taste so good um yeah i'm gonna cut those up cut those up what else am i gonna cut up a few other bits maybe i'll stick in I know I'm very, I'm very, very aware. I probably should have done this earlier, guys. I know, but we didn't. I didn't really know I was going to do a cooking stream, and then at the last minute, I was like, "Let's just do some cooking." Like everyone loves a bit of cooking. Going to make the the guac, guac, the guac. Everyone hates how I say it. At some point. So what should I do first? Um, I'll get this out. It looks a bit unclean, but it is. I promise. We have shallots in Boston, good to know. Um, I'm really concerned as to why it's so blurry. Let's see if I can go in my settings. Huh, looks absolutely fine in my settings. That's strange, isn't it? That is weird. Maybe it's just to do with like internet connection or something. Maybe my internet's just not quite good enough. But the, the, um, the rice cam. <laughs> The close-up cam is really, really good quality for me, where I'm looking. Um, so yeah, we pronounce them differently. We say shalutes. What? Shalutes. Shalutes. No. 
There's no way you say shalutes. Sh I wish you could send voice memos in the YouTube comments like this. Beep, shalutes, or whatever you say. <laughs> um, yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? Oh, I also need to find the kidney beans and the jackfruit that I'm apparently putting in as curry. So, let's have a look. Um, sorry. This is the jackfruit. I think it's just in brine. Oh, it's actually in salted water. So, we'll see how this turns out. Yeah. Shalutes. <laughs> Shallot. Shallot. I can't, guys, I can't. see me when I go down there by the way you can just see my hair yeah so how's the rice getting on do I need to turn it down sorry beeps loud beeps coming up yes um, got this song in my head the one that's like oh my god oh my god this feeling just again Da, 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 I don't know why it's just stuck. So I wish I had the comments here so I didn't have to like <laughs> everyone's telling me how to pronounce shallots. The focus is fine. Oh good. Oh, I don't know what to tell you guys, what's new other than my creator block that I've already told you about. Um Atches news, which I can't tell you yet. Um, still haven't found anywhere to live when we leave here, but I'm obviously online looking every day. Haven't found anything good yet. Um, but yeah. <sighs> we emphasize shall, shallot, shallots. Sh Let me try it in an American accent. Shallot, shallots. <laughs> what on earth? There's a reason I'm not acting anymore. Kelly Morgan, well, what's Kelly Morgan said? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Shallots, peppers. I swear there's another word for peppers over there, isn't there? Um, I remember covering that in a Joel and Leah video. Or, or maybe that's coriander, that they call it um, cilantro. I can't bloody remember. I film the videos and I forget everything, don't I? Shallots, shallots. Huh. So, yeah. I'm actually really gonna miss this place. Like, I think I'm very spoiled. I know it's not very big here, but like, you know, just waking up and there's like underfloor heating and when it's freezing and you're like, oh my God, this is just the best. This is just the best, I love it. I'm, you know, everything's super clean and and it's quite fairly modern. So yeah, I just, I am gonna miss it. Um, we haven't had much luck with renting. <laughs> our, um, our landlord actually sent us a letter saying that they're selling this place. Um, so they want possession of the property by the 30th of June, but I think we'll be gone by then. Um, I think we will be hopefully gone by then but you know it's a bit different this time because i actually really really like our landlord here like i really like the people that we're letting this place from um whereas with the last one i just it was a bit difficult there was conflict you know they were just like you know well if you remember if you've been here for a while we remember from my old vlogs it was just a bit of a drama but um yeah warm tootsies yeah exactly I'll just check I haven't missed any important comments because I, I think I saw a big blue sticker. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Charlotte. Shall. Charlotte. Shall. Charlotte. Charlotte. Oh, I can't. Someone's going to have to voice note me on Instagram. Someone voice note me on Instagram and I'll see if anyone's messaged. Um. Oh, no. Uh, no, no messages yet about shallots, so I will wait and see. 
use purple bricks website somebody said yeah i have i am looking on purple bricks as well i know it's a bit more of a seller's market on there but um i am looking i'm looking every day to be honest oh wow there's quite a lot of us here everyone if everyone remembers to click the um the thumbs up apparently it helps apparently it helps people come back to this video at a later date and be like oh that's worth watching so yeah What's everyone doing today? It's Saturday. It might even be morning where you are. Um, obviously, it's uh, it's evening here now, and I had a pretty good day. Woke up at like <laughs> the usual, uh, really early. Um, in the weekdays, I'm waking up at about six fifteen, but on the weekends, I wake up at about seven thirty. And then I did my eight a.m. yoga class, which was absolutely wonderful. Um, Usually I put my camera on for my yoga class, but today I didn't. I just didn't really want to put my camera on. So um, I just did it in my sports bra and my underwear in my room. And I was like, so good not putting my camera on because I don't have to like make any of my clothes sweaty. So that was good. And then after that, I did a workout, uh, you know, like a strength workout on Zoom, also on Zoom, clothed. And then um, what else has been going on? Oh, and then I literally just had catch up family, friends, I do all my phone calls on Saturdays it seems and then so catch up with you know um, people I haven't spoken to in ages which was really really nice I, I actually have actually spent the whole day on the phone but I, being me I absolutely love that um, wouldn't have it any other way in fact I think a day without phone calls is a sad day I just love calling people and chatting and doing stuff. I love like doing chores whilst chatting because I'm just like, I feel like an absolute like queen goddess getting everything done. Um, oh, I've had an IG voice note sent for Charlotte. So let's play it loud and clear. Donnie, Donnie sent one, Kelly sent one. Right, let's play it here. Charlotte. <laughs> Did everyone hear it? Charlotte. Charlotte. Shallots. Thank you, Donny. And then we've got another one from Kelly. Shallots. <laughs> this is great. Shallots. Thank you so much. Um, this is good fun. I really enjoyed that. If anyone's got a message that they want to play on the live stream, nothing, it has to be PG, nothing 18 or over, please, then send it and we'll play it because that's quite a fun game, isn't it? Oh, I've had loads more voice notes. Hey, Leah, it's pronounced. Shallots. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. Look at this. this is so good. This is good fun. Melinda. Shallots. <laughs> I don't know why every time I play it, it sounds like good fun. Christy. Hi, Leo. You say shallot. Thank you. I'm just loving. I just love voice notes. God, there's so many. Louise, Cindy. <laughs> there's so many. Oh, thank you, guys um yeah absolutely love that i will check my voice notes again if someone reminds me in the comments and then we can uh we can have a bit of good fun there oh, i love that game shallots so i'll be putting my shallots into the pan soon but i might need to open this recipe i found the other day uh for this i think it's basically just going to be like uh, loads of different spices, veg, the jackfruit, the kidney beans, maybe some passata, a tomato, a tomato base. Part of me wants to do coconut base, but it won't taste right, will it? Maybe I'll get out some tomato puree. That is running low. Um, and some, like a thingy of tomato paste. You know, like one of these. Haven't used this stuff in ages. Hopefully it tastes good. Ah, oh, small break, small coffee break. <laughs> Who knew small onions could provide such comedy? It's a good point, good point, Kate. Um, that is a very good point. I would love to hear a Brit cook say shallots or shallots. Isn't it funny how across the pond we say shallots? It's just, it just sounds so pretentious now, doesn't it? Shallots. <laughs> Well, I'm walking through the supermarket and I'm like, oh, I just, I do need shallots. They're just my favourite thing in the world. <laughs> I wonder how many people will be inspired to buy shallots this week. 
looking for my sieve. Um, some olive oil. Olive oil. Um, right. Hopefully this isn't going to be too loud. Sorry for anyone who doesn't like the sound of this. Okay. We'll wait for this to heat up. <laughs> Lidl's tomato puree. Recognised it, is it? Oh, no, it isn't. This one's from Sainsbury's. I'll show you in my close-up. I, I do love Lidl, though. <laughs> A few people are asking where Atch is. He's in the dungeon. He'll come out soon. I'm sure he'll come out when it's time to be fed. <laughs> the Lady of Shallots. Isn't that a poem? Oh, I don't know, Melanie, but I would absolutely love to be named Lady Shallot. I think that's even better than uh, Duke Duchess of West Sussex that I've been coined. That was the best Instagram comment ever. Someone was like, you're the Duchess of West Sussex, Leah. I was like, now that you say it, I think I am. <laughs> Right, I'm just going to choose some spices, a um, bit of this, a bit of that. Um, what are the. I wonder if I've got any Mexican y flavoured anything. Oh, I've got this. I could use a bit of this. This Mexican paste. Yeah, that's got a bit of heat. I'll use that. And I've picked up this. Yeah, that's good as well. This is just a Raz El Hanou. I showed it in one of my other videos. It's just such a good spice. I love it. Could you sing more in your videos? Yes, absolutely, Katie. I um, I can and I shall. Um, in fact, that's a really nice idea because I have had creator's block talking on camera. Maybe I'll just do uh, singing videos because I don't really have blocks when it comes to singing. It just takes me a little while to learn the song or, do you know what I mean? Because I'm not very good at guitar. Um, I'm getting better, but it's not my strength. Um, so yeah. All right, I've had a little bit of a boo-boo over here because I actually don't want to put my peppers in yet. I'd rather put them in the end when it's a bit more crunch, but they're on all the same bit of my onions. Yes, yeah, so let's see how this goes. Hopefully it doesn't sound too loud. <gasps> ASMR channel, ASMR. For anyone who loves the sound of cooking, this is Leah's ASMR Saturday Kitchen. <laughs> I wonder how it looks on the close-up. We haven't even, haven't even checked. Yeah, I think it will be fine. Hopefully that's not too loud. I'll turn it down a little bit. Oh, Aaron said, would love to do a song collab sometime. I mean, I'm up for that. <laughs> I'm always up for a collab. I know I haven't really done many collabs on my channel, but uh, yeah, I'd totally be up for that. <laughs> City desk to buy some more shallots. That is funny. That has just made me laugh. Thank you. That is so sweet. Really, really kind. <laughs> Uh, oh, these onions, oh, these shallots are making me a bit tearful, actually. Yeah. Um, I'm just completely blagging this. I've got no idea of the recipe or anything, so I didn't get it up. Should I just get it up on my um, computer? One second. Uh, jackfruit, vegan, uh, what was it, a curry. I can't even remember what was in it. I'm just making this up. Uh, no, it's not that one. No, it's not. Oh no, I'm never going to find it again, am I? Uh, oh, no, it's not that. Oh, some garlic. Yeah, okay. I've got frozen garlic. This is like the best stuff ever. You just throw it in. Don't have to chop garlic and get garlic fingers. Oh, the tears are running <laughs> from these shallots. Ugh. Ugh. I love garlic. <laughs> Anyone else love garlic? Gosh. I hope I don't cry off my eyelashes. It took me ages to put these on. Oh. 
I wonder if I'd get demonetized for singing on a live stream or playing music. I need to look into that. Um, yeah. Uh, spices. Let's just stick some spice. Who needs recipes when you can just make it up yourself? Like, let's be honest. Bit of Mexican paste. That's got a bit of kick to it, actually. I've just done two teaspoons. Not going to do any more. Oh, I need to go back onto the chat. I came off the chat for some reason. Oh, here we go. Grace. Hi, Grace. Leah, have you ever done an open mic? Have you ever done an open mic not? It must be open mic night. And if not, will you do one when the world opens back up? The world needs your voice. <laughs> That's really kind. Oh my God. Do you know what, Grace? I see them all the time. So when I was at RADA, I would take my guitar on the Tottenham Court Road and I would do the open mics that were going on up and down the strip. <laughs> the strip. I love calling it the strip when we're just talking about a street in London, in central London. But... I would absolutely love doing open mic nights. It was like my favorite thing ever. Um, and I would be so nervous, but I used to think, do you know what, Leah? Push yourself out of your comfort zone, go for it. Have, you know, just give it your best shot kind of thing. And yeah, it was really good. Guys, I might just put a beef. Where, where are my vegetable stock pots? Oh no, I bought two beef instead of one veg and one beef. Do you know what? It's fine. You know, it's fine. We can just make the jackfruit taste a bit beefy. <laughs> um, I hope that answers your question about open mic nights. Yeah, I'm just... I love doing them. I mean, if they had more in this area, then I would. It was more of a London thing. My old life. The good times. <laughs> I'm kidding. I... I actually do miss London a little bit, but I miss pre-COVID London. I miss sort of like meeting up with people for drinks and then not knowing where the night's going to take us. That was so fun. I miss going to the YouTube space in the creator studio in, Tottenham, uh, in King's Cross and just hanging out with other people and <laughs> going there to do co-working, but not really getting a lot of work done because you're just chatting to everyone and you know whether you're just talking about anything really i just loved it it was just in my absolute element living living the dream and i was really sad yesterday so i found out on uh online that the youtube space london is closing so really really sad that the offices are closing in uh, king's cross that was like one of my favorite places to just get on the train from chichester take my laptop go into king's cross and just just enjoy myself. Oh, sorry for the beeps. Just gonna turn the rice off and just let it cook. Um, yeah, it was absolutely like one of my favorite places ever. Guys, I've got no idea how long this jackfruit takes or if it even needs to, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give it a go. I'm gonna drain it now. Um, this is what it looks like, the, the tin, if anyone's interested. Hope you haven't missed any comments. Don't cry. Double the beef. <laughs> What's everyone on about? The strip. <laughs> uh, oh gosh, this looks like a, you know, it looks like artichoke heart. Gosh, oh. Can't get it out. Wow. It looks like this, but when I've tried it before in London at a street food market, it, uh, no joke, it tasted like the texture of it was like pulled pork. So let's see how this behaves. I mean, I have got no idea what to expect from this, but in it goes. I could do this. Oopsie. No, I can't. Sorry. Forget I said that. There's a way of making the middle of this section come on, um, but I don't know how you do it, and I don't want to try and press too many buttons and aggravate anybody who might be watching with headphones on. 
gosh, the jackfruit's quite hard. Maybe it really does need to soften. I'm gonna stick the peppers in as well. Um, yeah. Cooking with colour with Leah on a Saturday. Careful you don't set the alarm off. Um, I think we'll be fine. Don't worry. Thank you though for your concern. Uh, forgot to put the tomato puree in, didn't I? I'm just going to stick a bit of tomato in there. You ain't got a cream when you cloud out. Oh my gosh, there's a there's a really good song actually um, by Celeste. I don't know if you guys know Celeste, and it's uh, the song is called Strange, and I oh, I just can't get the song out of my head. It's just so good. Um, the lyrics are beautiful. I just haven't been able to get it out of my head for ages. Oh, you know, as soon as you put liquid in the pan and then everything just calms down. It's like, hey, we're just going to be calm now because we need to heat up and do our thing. Well, I'm going to let that cook and I'm going to read my comments and chill out. What else needs to go in there? Oh yeah, the kidney beans. I'll make the guac and talk to everybody. Hey Achi. Hello. <laughs> Do you like my setup? Yeah, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's really fun. It is such a good setup. Like, not gonna lie, it took me ages to get it all set up and um oh, I suppose you haven't seen this. This is cooking cam. So down here, this is what's cooking on the hob, which is filming on the GoPro. Wow. And then that that one over there is the main cam. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? In fact, I could probably flip the. I could probably. Let me just. Oh. oh. Now that I've got it on this, I can see how messy it all it, it all looks. Where's your phone? My phone is in my pocket. Do some BTS. Oh, you're doing BTS. Thank you. BTS. If you're not already aware, stands for behind the scenes. <laughs> Everyone's saying hello to Ach, the Presidente. Hey guys. Hey. Oh, thank you, Kate, for letting me know that jackfruit doesn't need that long. It just needs to heat up. Yeah, it's already starting to soften really nicely into that kind of like jackfruity texture that mimics pulled pork. It does look like artichokes, though, doesn't it? Artichoke hearts. Thank you, actually. Right, can I just... Um, oh, you're still doing so aren't you? Oh, 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 I spilled, spilled kidney bean juice on the floor. That's not good. Usually Atch is my sous chef and he's usually here wiping up after me. Oh, it's really heating up over there. Let's turn that down. God, it really sounds like it's having a party in here, doesn't it? Lady Charlotte, an ice cream presidente. I love that comment. <laughs> Let's let that all sort of go to town. It definitely needs greens. That's what I'm going to do. Gua gua guacamole. Sorry, I can't say it. Guacamole on the side. Squeeze of lime. Coriander, if I've got any. Yeah, got some coriander here. And I'll tidy up all my mess. Usually, Atch is here tidying up after me. Um, also, my hand. Like, how, cr how cringe. Sometimes I catch a video footage of myself and my hand is always like that. Like, it's almost like it's not alive. <laughs> anyway. What is Atch doing today? Um, I, I, I can't tell you. <laughs> it's top secret, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, but he's, he's doing important jobs, aren't you? Well, Everyone's like, what's Atch doing? I say he's busy, but I'm sure you'll tell them another time. I'm doing important jobs. <laughs> morning kitchen or any of those i don't really know how they kidney beans in by the way i don't really know how they like constantly talk and get all their cooking done is it because everything's already prepped and in bowls or like what how do they actually do it because this is quite hard to like focus on just 
making up slash cooking a meal and talk to everyone at the same time. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Can you please ask Atch to say shallots? <laughs> he says it the same way as I do. He just says shallots. But I will get him to say it the next time he comes out. Kelly Morgan, Atch, what ice cream goes best with this? That's a very good question. I wonder if I can swap this over so everyone can see. I don't know if that's a very good idea, actually, because then I won't be able to stir it. Ignore that. Atch, can you just say the word shallots, please? Shallots. <laughs> oh, they asked for it. Do you know how they say it in America? Oh. Oh, I've forgotten already. It's like shallots. this. No, it's like this. Hang on. I'll show you. I've been sent a voice messages of how you say it. It's like this. Shallots. All requests. No, no, it's not shallots. It's like this. That's what we're going to do now. Yeah, it's pronounced shallots. Shallots. What? Shallots. That's not shallots. Yeah, it's shallots. Just proof as another one. Shallots. 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 What? That has got to be a joke one, Louise. That is enough. <laughs> No, Louise, Louise, Louise is having me she's on. Having on. She's having me on. Um, coriander haven't. Oh, look that's at this. all for the bin. That's all for the, that's all for the bin. Coriander I haven't used yet, and the, the guacamole I haven't made yet. She's used to having me here, like just As the I'm like chef. properly going around her, like doing all this stuff, putting stuff away. It's my favourite thing. Like I'm literally going around putting stuff away like this. Yeah, it's my favourite thing when he goes around me tidying up. I just, I just do all of this. It's just like, amazing. Finish with it. Yes, I have, yes. I haven't even used it, but I, I don't need to use it. So, um, now that I've got you here, I don't really know for how long you're here, or if you're still over there doing stuff. Uh, I've got 15 minutes. Until you're available. Until I've got to go and do something. Oh, okay. Else. I was just wondering if you were able to read out any comments out loud as I focus on the cooking. Yeah, oh, the dishwasher needs emptying. Yeah, but not right now, because we're, we're entertaining right now. <laughs> um yeah i'll just i will have a look at the um comments good luck trying to scroll without it oh wow it works when you do it like that okay so uh someone said tell arch spell a r c h kills me it's every A-C-H. time i i you know what one one of my friends from the u.s is a youtuber love her to be it's joe joe franco always pronounces your name arch to me and wounder. I've never corrected her because I've, I've never been like, by the way, it's a Joe. Wounder. Um, <laughs> so he says, stop scratching his bum. I don't believe I was, but oh, maybe I was. He's so always if I if I was, I'm genuinely sorry for that. Um, he's always scratching his ass. So Lisa sorry. Roberts says, don't get mad, but arch, but no, don't, but arch uh, looks really good in that colour of shirt. Aww. Thank you very much, Lisa Roberts. Lovely. Um, no self says you look like my wife. Fans. Who, you or me? I'm guessing you. Huh. Um, having... Christy says that she would cook and bake so much more if she had a sous chef. Yeah. Oh, tell me about it. It's just amazing, isn't it, having the sous chef here to like. Thing is, it suits our personalities because you like cooking, I yeah. like eating. <laughs> win and then <laughs> and you, I, and like clean. I, I like cleanliness i like the like the tidiness so yeah. it kind of works out you absolutely love it turn that down yeah do you know what actually i've noticed that on the actual youtube stream when you lean on the fridge your face is over the timestamp so i don't know if you, do you see um you see over that side that's yeah. the actual live this is um, this is my software where I can mix ah. between the cameras. That's the legit stream. Okay. Um, oh, that's a good avo. Look at that, guys. That's nice. What a perfect avo. Sometimes you open them and it's too late. <laughs> Someone just said, does he find leftover in that beard he's got? Oh. Yeah, that... Uh, do you know what? I... You gotta remember, guys, we're still in a full lockdown here. So, like, yeah. no access to barbers. <laughs> barbers there's only one barber in the world you've ever been to yeah there's no access to my personal barber um there's no access to dre it's a wounder yeah dre you guys know andreas um so i'm looking a bit homeless at the moment oh wow. i don't like that joke sorry i'm looking i'm looking very unkempt um unkempt. 
Yeah. Let's see what else people are saying. Um, oh, Arch. Oh, no. I was about to start talking about the TV shows we've been watching, but um, save it because I've spoken about it on a Joel and Leah video. Like, Hotel Cecile, Don't Fuck With Cats. And, mm. yeah. We've been loving what was true the other crime. One? The Night Stalker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah. wish it had gone into Just loving person. crime stuff at the moment. Yeah. These, um, yeah. Innis Pagan has just uh, did a oh, little donation wow. for you. Innis, or I think that's Innis. Thank you so much. And then, what's that little emoji? Is it a penguin? No. no oh, it's it, a mic drop. It's a mic drop. It's a pear. It's a, <laughs> oh, it's pear, a pear with a sweatband on, um, dropping a mic. That's sick. Thank you so much. Is it Innis or Innis? Maybe it would be Innis if it was two ends. Yeah. Let's get my lime in here. What do I normally put in the guac that I make? Shall I just put shallot in there, don't I? But the shallot in there. Shallot. Shallot. I'll just do... What is this? This? <laughs> it's a vegan jackfruit curry, oh, my friend. Because I looked at it and I was like, that chicken looks weird, man. It's not chicken. That's it's not a, chicken. That is um, jackfruit. Oh. Because we've been trying new stuff. So the other day we tried a tofu dish and um it was all right there was nothing amazing i did like a miso paste um thing with soy and all sorts of different japanese ingredients and then in the end it was it was just okay it wasn't wasn't amazing it wasn't mind-blowing so this week we're trying jackfruit mm. yeah oh i love having you here as a sous chef it's amazing i feel like i can just you know do the cooking <laughs> And you read out the comments and clean up. It's just amazing. Do you know what, guys? My roses from Valentine's Day died today. They lasted so long. They were beautiful. And what I've done is I, I've actually kept one rose and I've put it in some tissue paper and I've, I've pressed it in a book, so I'll keep one. So I think that's quite romantic. It's very romantic and sentimental. Yeah. That was actually my grandma's idea. She was like, why don't you keep one of the roses before you throw them away? And I was like, that's a lovely idea. Mm. What is everyone doing on a Saturday night, anyway? Well, I think it might be Saturday day for some people. Saturday day if you're on West Coast, I guess, isn't it? Is it eight hours? Yeah. In this, um, what, I should have just done the whole thing. Why did I do half? Just doing the whole thing. That was silly. Just do the whole thing, love. All right. No, so I always say Sometimes, stuff like that, and is, then you what, say, why this, don't you just do that? And I'm like, I, like I just said that I was going to do. This is sometimes when she's like cooking or when she's like doing something on the computer and yeah. it involves like helping me to do something. Yeah. Sometimes I give her a massage just to like make sure she's, um, <laughs> yeah. make, make sure she's like performing to in, her optimal best of in optimal performance. <laughs> yeah, like if I'm stressed out or like I'm doing something for you, you, you just come over and start like massaging my shoulders and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I don't know what else to do. Like, <laughs> I hope this, hopefully this is my little like, that's your contribution, contribution to the situation that's happening. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, so good. Saturday afternoon in Boston. Boston. Oh, Boston. Do you Boston know what? Celtics. I'm worried I'm not going to be able to get to Boston in June. I Boston really Red hope Sox. I am. Damn, you got to go to the Sox stadium. I will tell. Or the Celtics. Yeah, I'll tell Joel that. That's something I want to do, and we'll do Thing it. Because I don't. I'm not really into baseball, but I do like basketball. Yeah. And you want me to get you a jersey, don't you? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I don't have to bring anything back then. No, no. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't really wear baseball jer um, basketball jerseys. Oh, okay. Do you want um, the hat? I wear t-shirts. Yeah, you do wear you do like a t-shirt, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm worried that if I don't get the vaccine, then I won't be able to get to the States. Um, but I don't know. Have you had anything from the doctors yet about it? Nope. Still hasn't gone in for his MRI, guys, because he's still on the wait list. Still haven't gone in for my stomach. Or Got my... a letter through the post and we're like, finally, a letter from the hospital. And then it was like, just to inform you, we're going to telephone call you in March. <laughs> and you were like, cool. Um, ha Hara um, is, is saying, um, what, are you what are you guys thinking of doing after lockdown? Genuinely, Whew. I just want to visit people. Yeah, yeah. I know. Like, just, just go and see people. Yeah. But it's like, when is that actually ever going to happen? Let's be honest. I don't know. 
because Boris Johnson announces the next phase of what's happening in the UK, like lockdown status. Yeah. And I reckon we're going to go back to tiers. Which is where some areas are allowed to do stuff, some areas aren't. Um, but it's still minimal. Even a tier two is like, even a tier two is like, you can't. What can't you do in tier two? Tier you two, um, I don't think you're allowed to mix indoors with people. Or something, yeah, something, something like, like that. that. So, um, yes, Kelly Morgan loves the Celtics. Yeah, nice Kelly. Oh, I love it. You know what? As soon as I've made this dinner, I'm just going to sit down and chat to everyone face to face without being busy doing this. I mean, I have enjoyed doing the sort of cooking live, but I think I prefer just sitting down and chatting properly and just sitting still. <laughs> Jay. Jay what goes, Ash looks thrilled about the meat alternative. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have got a screenshot. I'm going to watch back the live where I say, oh no, that's not chicken. Do you know what? That's like, jackfruit. Yeah, but do you know what? Like we've been, we've seriously <laughs> Cut our reduced meat our meat consumption like so loads. Much. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I'm not really that, uh, you know, at the beginning I was like a bit anxious about it. And now I'm just yeah. like, do you know what? I've, like, it's better. I'm not. I'm not even. I genuinely. I don't miss a burger That's hot. Um, at all. Do you? Mm. I haven't had a craving for like a burger or a steak or anything like that. I'll be honest. I do like your burgers that you make, homemade burgers. Actually, it's homemade burgers. Yeah, but I just I haven't had a craving for it. I haven't like. No. Um. Chef um, Chef Evie Lee says moved to Florida. I've been to Florida once. Me too, once when I was a kid. I went to Disneyland in Orlando. Same. That was like the best. Genuinely, I reckon that was like the best thing ever in my life, ever. Really? Yeah. I remember when it me was and. Phenomenal. I remember when me and Johnny were kids and mum and dad took us to the airport, we were on the plane. We all thought we were going to Rhodes, like Greece. And then at the last minute, we were on the plane and then they went, We're going to Disneyland, Florida. And Did me you and go Johnny mental? were like. Ah! Did you go mental? Yeah, we were oh so God. fuzzy. We were like. No way, we couldn't believe it. We were like asking the air, air hostesses, we were like, where's this plane going to? And they were like, Florida. And we were like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I honestly think like, that is one of the sickest things. If a, your parents like, surprise you for something like that, it's just magical, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wanna taste this. Oh, not with that spoon. Stephanie DK has been has just fasted 36 hours here wow. in OH, wherever that is. Wow. Um, and that now she's watching a cooking show, so she's probably going to be salivating. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Um, by the way, someone wants the recipe for my homemade burgers. To be honest, guys, mm. it's not really anything special. No, it's gorgeous, actually. It's just simplicity. It's just like organic mints. Min um, like do that into a patty. I crack one egg in there with some breadcrumbs. Yeah. Um, and I want to try the drop. I put salt and pepper, literally, put it into a little patty, fry it off. Yeah. Um, and then I finish it in the oven, and then I just dice some onions. I put some onions on top, and you, some, you um, do them so fine. And then I put some uh, gherkins, which oh. I think you guys call pickles. Pickles, yeah. And then. Um, Jobs are good and stick it in a little brioche bun. Oh, I love the brioche bun. Do you have brioche buns? They must have brioche buns. Absolutely. Um, this tastes good. It's hot. It's got... I've got a kick for us. That. With oh my God. Sorry, go on. What, what have you just read? No, Grace was just saying she's... She's... Um, she's... Got to leave us now. Oh, um, bye Grace. But she's, she's going... Put, to put on her sunscreen. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna leave the house. So I mean, that's amazing. Um, go and do that. What? Because it's so hot, or just because you put I'm, so much I'm sunscreen on? I'm hoping because it's super sunny. Yeah. Right. Do you? So I'm gonna be. I'm gonna dish this up actually, and I'm gonna show everyone what it looks like. And then I think what I'll do is I'll move the camera. Um, you've got to go back in there for calls, haven't you? Yeah, but it's fine. All right. Um. I didn't use all of that. I might be able to use that tomorrow. So, so far, guys, we have some rice here. I didn't even check if it had, like, tasted. It's just not with that one. It's spicy. Um, some rice. I think it's... 
that's fine, that's good. The jackfruit curry, which is just here, looks quite good. I mean, I wish I could show you a bit closer. That's kind of what it looks like. Not much color to it. So I've done this bowl of um, guac. I know the pip, the stone is still in, I'm gonna take that out. And then I've just got some chopped up cilantro over here, some coriander. I'm just gonna stick it all in a bowl and then I'm gonna eat it. Um, I won't eat it on the stream because obviously I'm, it's not really my vibe. Um, but what I will do is I'll just leave that here simmering on a low heat. Actually, I'll just switch it off and then I'll come talk to you guys over there. I'll switch off the food cam. Food cam, one, which one's food cam? I think it's this one. Okay, switch off the food cam. Grab a drink. And I'll come over there. Right. So nervous actually. So um, so sorry that there's mess. Um, <laughs> um I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Let's see. Oh. Well, it looks like we're just here for a little interview. Hello, I'm Leah Hasakis, I'm 27. I'm applying for the role of, um, I don't know, <laughs> don't know what I'm saying. So, I'm gonna get the, um, cause the, now the screen's all the way over there, so I actually can't see the comments unless I come here onto my phone. Let's see if anyone's sent any voice notes of uh, things they want played out. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Remember earlier I said, we'll play out some, some stuff. Sydney sent something. Charlotte. Oh, another person. <laughs> Charlotte. Charlotte. Thank you. What I'll do is I'll um sorry if you can hear Match on the phone as well, by the way. He's just doing some stuff. Um, YouTube. Wow, I'm gonna see what my own live stream looks like right now. Leah Hatzakis, change of plan. Saturday kitchen cook off. Here we are. Let's just pause it and then get the how do you get the live chat on the phone? Where's the live? Oh, here we go. Congrats, you've been cast. <laughs> Thank you so much, I got the job. Um, oh, it's nice. Don't know if you can hear my shoulders clicking as I roll. Great to see you, Arch, everyone's saying. Yep, he absolutely loved joining. It was absolutely wonderful having him here as my sous chef to tidy up, clean up. So all I have to do afterwards is just get the bowl, stick the rice in, stick the curry on top, dollop of guacamole and then if it is hot i'm gonna maybe just use a bit of greek yogurt and just dollop that on top because i haven't got any sour cream um so yeah oh, i love brioche people are saying um yes good job i haven't missed anything good 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 um i'm all up to date i am all up to date lisa roberts said i mentioned it earlier but i'm going to repeat it Speaking of Valentine's Day, my husband bought me a red and pink bear and we named the red one Atch and the pink one Leah. <laughs> no way. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. That's almost as um, amazing as finding out that Kelly Morgan dressed up as me on Halloween a few years ago. That was funny. That was one of those moments where it was like, oh my gosh, this is real, isn't it? Ooh, sorry, I nearly fell, fell down. I'm just trying to rest my feet on something. Um, <laughs> now we can see your beautiful lashes. <laughs> Thank you, Shari. Shari. Um, yeah, I actually kind of ran out of mascara. And um, as I was getting ready, I was like, I look a bit like a naked mouse rat. Like, it just looked really bare. So I was like, oh, I'll just stick some lashes on. Reason to celebrate, isn't it? Live stream, reason to celebrate. Um, what's on the Boston list so far? Not much, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get there. Well, it might, be, might end up being Joel on his own at this rate. So I haven't, I haven't been vaccinated and I'm worried. I'm worried that they're gonna be like, you can't travel unless you've been vaccinated. And for my age group being so low risk and I just don't think I'm gonna get vaccinated till the very end. I'm at the like end of the list. So I don't know nothing on the list so far just hoping that i can still go and yeah rachel omg what did kelly wear 
she wore the jacket, the zip up fleece that I infamously wore in the Walmart video that got really got a lot of views on the Joel and Leah channel. So we went round of was it Walmart? Yeah, like Brits explore Walmart or something. And I had a bit of a hoo ha and I got a load of hate for basically. I don't even know if I want to mention this again, but something happened in the video that a lot of people disagreed with, but most people were able to forgive me. And then, um, yeah, so she went in that jacket and yeah, good fun. <laughs> uh. Oh, thank you, Abby, for the recommendation. If you need more mascara, I recommend Victoria Beckham's Future Lash. Victoria Beckham has got a makeup range. <laughs> this is news to me. So she's a fashion designer. She's got a makeup range. She's married to David. She's an ex Spice Girl. Is there anything she does? She's got a YouTube channel as well. I've watched her YouTube channel. Is there anything she doesn't do? That is the question. Louise. Oh, Louis. Sorry, I misread Louis for Louise. Louis. Louis. Good morning from Los Angeles. A virtual hug slash paying my late fee. Thank you very much. I mean, the late fees are still like a running joke. Um, for anyone who's new, like what the hell is a late fee? I basically said that whoever turns up late to the live stream has to pay a $2 late fee. And it's just a running joke that sort of carried on and now is basically a way of supporting the channel and just being like, thank you for the content as a little tip. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Louis. Oh gosh, people are remembering the Walmart fleece fiasco. Um, I had on the dressing jacket from the Walmart video, a Malibu t-shirt and a triggered ball cap. Yeah because of the amount of people that were triggered and because the Joel and Leah triggered merch. Super late fee, Rod's here. Oh, I missed you, Rod. You must have been doing your class. Rod does classes in, oh, I don't want to say the name because I'm going to butcher it. Um, it's quite scientific and it's to do with plants. Um, yeah, I hope you did. I hope, I, hope, I hope class was okay today. People are going to be like, how did you know that about your subscribers? I know it. <laughs> stalk everyone online um, oh gosh um, yeah makeup range wow we say makeup line interesting makeup range makeup line um, I think we say both maybe I just I wouldn't be like what I wouldn't it wouldn't sound funny to me if someone said a makeup range um, but yeah all these differences hey huh, wow um <laughs> Michael said ages ago sorry I've just scrolled up to have a look I just read something that says jackfruit is not allowed on airplanes is it pungent smelling no, no it doesn't it didn't smell of anything at all if anything it just smelled a bit like it was it was it was kept in the salt water I just saw some, just salt just like a little bit salty that was it um couldn't taste a thing and haven't really given it a proper taste um but yeah um katie scoop you can always rely on katie scoop for a nice comment to cheer me up i don't think you did anything in wrong in walmart i thought it was awesome thank you katie scoop i mean i throw my hands up and i admit that i should have probably bought that fleece but it wasn't because i didn't have the money to buy it, it was truly truly because I just didn't have any space to take anything back. I came with a full suitcase. It wasn't until I started going to America more and realizing how much shit I wanted to buy when I was out there that I was like, right, Leah, I should probably just half pack this because you're going to buy stuff out there. And then that's what's been happening since. I'm like, I go there and it's like, mine and Joel's little things that we'll always buy a pair of trainers or sneakers on a trip because we're like, these trainers slash sneakers mark the trip. So I still wear my ones from um, Vegas because I just think they're so cool and they're limited edition. So they could, you could, there's only like a certain amount of pairs that were released in the US and um, so no one in the UK will have them. So I wear them and I just think they look really cute. Um, sorry, I've missed a few comments. <laughs> Jake's Baby Cake said, I've watched you when you when you had blonde highlights. I absolutely love your content. You're beautiful. 
outside and more importantly inside thank you oh, i used to love having my like blonde highlights go through because obviously like now we're in lockdown all i can do is the box dye but when i'm able to like go back and sit at the hairdressers and get seen by someone professional maybe i can have like my nice hair again i just loved i love that like summer kind of like beachy waves with a bit of color coming through a little bit of blonde a bit of goldenness a bit of red just I just love that. Um, thanks so much for reminding me of that. Texas tornado, late fee, great cooking job, looking pretty. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. Um, I mean, yeah, I just wanted to try out the cooking thing. For anyone who's just joined, I was saying at the start that I've had a huge creative block on YouTube. You'll notice if you're a loyal subscriber here, a loyal watcher, that I haven't done your classic main channel video where you sit down and film something and then you edit it and then you post it and the whole video is like 10 minutes, like, like a normal video. I haven't done anything like that for ages. Um, but weirdly, I've really, really enjoyed switching on the camera unplanned, not knowing what's gonna happen and doing these. Um, and as a YouTuber, you do take the hit on views, so you won't get as many views for live streams. It's just a fact. People like to watch something that's polished, edited, scripted, the full works. Um, and live streams just aren't that. Live streams are unplanned, unscripted. You don't know what you're gonna say. You don't know if you're gonna mess up. Um, and they, they don't appeal to everyone. But personally, I love doing them. So um, the goal would be to introduce one upload a week. <laughs> Lol, that I did every day of December. How did I even do that? I don't know where that came from one day a week so say Wednesdays would be a normal upload day for example I've just made up that day and then Saturday would be the Saturday live obviously post Covid there's going to be times where my Saturdays are unavailable I'm, maybe I'll be visiting family I won't be able to just switch on the live I won't have all my gear with me you know like right now I've got like a full on little setup going on that might not be an option but it would be good to have like a backup video something can go out something do you know what i mean but right now in lockdown i'm loving the lives hope that makes sense um jake's baby cakes <laughs> late fee but worth it <laughs> thank you love it oh gosh oh charlotte west just want to say that your kitchen cooking thing was your cooking thing was so great thank you so much um donny said leah post a recipe in the description of your time after the live stream yeah that's a good shout i can i can easily do that i can just write down everything i've used stuck the rice on yeah that's i can do that i'll get that done thank you donny um good shout rod said the class went very well finished the botany segment today um a few other people saying to increase include the live stream oh, sorry 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 that was me dropping one of my things i use for yoga leah cookery lessons <laughs> christy said leah has like did you see the tiktok recipe of the feta and the tomatoes yeah i did it made me feel sick <laughs> christy messaged me being like you've got to look at this recipe i don't know if it was the one you sent me or i just opened tiktok and i started seeing loads of feta tomato recipes the amount of feta that they were using made me feel physically sick, hun. What possessed you to think I would enjoy that? <laughs> I'm classy, babes. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. Um, although it was very creative and, you know, I will definitely give, give something like that a go, but in a classy way. Um... Leah Hatzak is, here's the most important question you'll be asked all week. Okay, how is your relationship... Just dropped another yoga mat. I'm really sorry. How is your relationship with Ava? Uh, so Ava is Joel's dog. And my relationship's great with Ava. Yeah, I think we get on really well. Uh, I don't know if she remembers me or anything. But, you know, she has a sniff. She has a jump up at me. She... She's ruined one pair of jeans, but I'm not too bothered because I didn't really care about those jeans. Um, and I have actually kept those jeans just in case I need to go to Joel's for filming and she's still really hyper. 
I'll put on those jeans because it's not like you can see them in the videos cuts off at like here and then she can jump up at me and I don't care do you know what I mean because I'm just like they're just my Ava jeans now um but yeah she she just loves like jumping up at my clothes and stuff so I'm like how do you deal with that because I actually I don't want my clothes to get eaten <laughs> other than that me and her get on really well um Vicky, love your eyelashes. OMG, good to see you, Leah. Hiya, Vicky. Thank you very much, darling. <laughs> Thought I'd treat everyone. Um, I love the live chat so much, Jamie said. In this time where we can't be with people, it's like we're having a party of 200 plus people. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love the live streams. I just think it's so fun, especially if you watch them live. Like, if you watch them on playback, fine it doesn't you don't really feel like you're at the party um but otherwise it's a good party to be at isn't it christy right it was like so much better it really was yeah um how did she ruin your jeans just ripped a hole in them um i'm gonna go back i'm go now going to go oh, i can't read I've never cooked jackfruit in an entree. What's an entree? I've forgotten what an entree is. I've heard this before. Entree is a starter or a main dish. Main, isn't it? Um, Katie Scoot's got to sign off now. Bye, Katie Scoot. Thank you for joining. Always good to see your name. Like, thank you for bringing the good vibes. Always, Scoot. Love you loads. See ya. Um, <laughs> Victoria playback is great when you're working from home you're my chatty co-worker <laughs> Jean from California Jean's here good to see you so good to see you um, an entree is a main dish okay yeah I, I've never called it an entree it reminds me now of um, Gordon Ramsay's kitchen nightmares where he's always shouting at them being like what is this entree um do you know who is fun to watch on TikTok? It's um, Gordon Ramsay's daughter. I think her name's Tilly Ramsay. And um, she just loads of videos with Gordon and they're really funny. And you kind of watch them and you go like, if I didn't have my dad, if my dad wasn't my dad, I'd pick Gordon Ramsay to be my dad. Because he's just really, he just looks like he's up for a good laugh. I mean, I'd be a bit terrified of him because I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of Gordon Ramsay. But... Yeah, I love my dad to bits, so I obviously never would replace my dad in a million years. Love you, dad. But um, if you weren't my dad and I could pick a dad, I'd choose Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> um, you should do a react TikTok like Gordon Ramsay on that. Yeah, maybe I should do reacting to my favourite TikToks. That's an easy video to film. Don't have to think about it, just have to react. Um, Christy said, I only use my phone and can't sign up to be a member. Do you know any workarounds for that? So Christy, I don't actually have memberships on this channel because at the moment I haven't got anything to offer members. So if you've got any ideas of what I could offer members, then I will activate memberships. But at the moment, I'm really happy that the live streams are open to everyone. I don't want to make these exclusive. I don't really know yet. I haven't got, I haven't got any um, ideas yet for memberships. I know that members only live streams are quite fun but i don't know i just love the party 200 people plus it's so good isn't it um hooray for prosecco you turned me on to it thank you sunshine glad you're enjoying it i feel like having a gin and tonic you know i've got some gin down there and i've got some tonic do i have a gin and tonic <laughs> i think i want a gin and tonic it's probably a bit early for you guys isn't it it's gin and tonic time. Sorry for the sound. Sorry for the sound. Okay. Welcome, my friends, to Leah makes an impromptu gin and tonic. Let's give it a go. <laughs> All right. Um, how much? That's quite, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Oh god, yeah, that's a lot. It's 
because the glass is massive that you can't really see. I've got a stitch. <laughs> All right, let's get some eyes. And then I need to get my tonic. I think I've got some frozen berries as well, actually. Stick some in there. I'm going a bit overboard with the ice, aren't I? Oh my god, oh my god. Can you guys see this? Why not? And I'm going to get the tonic water as well. I wonder if this will inspire anybody um, to go and make a gin and tonic. Why not? I have to actually get on my chair because I can't reach the tonic without the, uh, the chair. Rosé here. Great idea. Yeah, I'm glad you guys agree. I've got two tonics left. I think I've got another box up there, actually. Sadly, these are the light ones, so you don't get as much sugar. But, I don't know. It's just one way of making it a little bit more, like, you know, guilt-free and all that. Okay, now I need a bottle opener. Which is like... Hardest thing ever. I was finding so hard to use. I can never do this. I can never ever do it. Do I leave my? Here we go. Just don't do that after. Don't do that after the GNT. Yeah, good, good, <laughs> good thinking. <laughs> There is, I have a bottle opener that's easier to use than this. I just don't know where it is and I don't want to make too much noise. Oh, I think it's this one. Because it's got that, that little like nozzle thing. Yes. Wendy the Glack. Tonic Glack, anyone? Anyway, lovely. Look at that, stunning. Poor Ash, she's going to be like, more, more cleaning and tidying to do, and I'm going to be like, yes, sir. Okay. Back around to my little studio. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm back on. Tonic in hand. <sighs> That's nice. Um, what was I watching the other day? Oh, it was the Britney documentary. Has anyone watched it? Um, I think I'm going to save my thoughts on it because Joel and I are going to talk about it on our channel. But I'm just wondering, by a show of hands, who's seen the Britney documentary? Mm. All the comments <laughs> come in. Um. <laughs> Cheers, girlfriend. <laughs> Cheers. Is it not a twist top? No. Those bottles of tonic water have got like the same way you'd open a beer. Well, she didn't fall. I remember one of the first live streams and the possible intruder. I don't know what we're talking about. Was there a possible intruder? Oh yeah. Was this back at the old place in London where we thought someone was coming in because we could hear the doors going? Oh no, a drunk clear. Don't worry guys, this won't make me drunk, will it? Who knows? Oh. I actually have a call at 8 p.m. It's uh, 7.25 now. I'm wondering if I should eat before my call. Oh, Sherry, hello. I'm so glad I caught this live. It's been a while since I got to join. Love you, darling. G&Ts are a fave of mine, but only with lots of lime. 
See, I do have lime. Maybe I should just should I just stick a lime in there as well. That might make it quite fun. I might just stick a quarter of a lime in there. Why not? Just stick a little. I've already squeezed a lot of the lime, but I think I'll get the I'll get like the flavours of it. I've just stuck it in. This is my bar, no one else's bar. We can do what we like here, can't we? Thank you so much for that lovely donation. Um, that's so kind, thank you. Um, I feel like I missed some comments. Was there an argument in the comments or something? I don't know what, what I'm seeing. Oh, I went to a magnificent gin bar in Greenwich. I hope it's still there when I get back into London. What was it called? I'd love to go to a gin bar, but what I really want to do is go to a Prosecco bar because I've seen that they have them. If you try all different types of Prosecco, the interiors are quite bougie, you know what I mean? You feel quite special. I'd love something like that. Um, <laughs> I just seen the best comment ever. Christy Lambert said, I think we should do a virtual choir thing. You sing the lead and your viewers can sing back up. That's amazing, I love it. Tom Cruise, eat your heart out. I've got, <laughs> I've got no idea what we want. Um, Candy, Leah, visiting with my sister, April, first time in seven months. Having a Joel and Leah day with drinks flowing. Love you. Love that, Chris Candy. Um, that sounds amazing. Uh, April, first time in seven months. Gosh. It's just been so long, hasn't it, since so many of us have seen lots of our loved ones. Obviously, I saw people at Christmas, on Christmas Day, so it's not been that long, but just my extended family and friends, you know, my, my cousins had a baby that I still haven't met, and that feels... I feel like, <laughs> lol, as soon as I pour a gin and we start to get deep, I feel like if we have bad days and we're not sure why, we have to remember we're still grieving... The loss of our old life what life was we're also grieving lost ones that we've lost through this pandemic we're just living through this like moment of grief and there'll be days where you're like i don't know why i feel so shit and you forget it's because we we are going through a moment in history and um yeah just think it's worth remembering that this kind of like universal sadness is is present so you can't expect can't expect it to be like 100 percent every day it's just life's not the same is it anyway <laughs> two sips of gnt and she gets the classic this is what it's like if you go to the pub with me i'm just like <laughs> kim thank you so much i've got an ice cube in my mouth thank you so kind kim hasn't left me a message thank you kim are you the kim from tk maxx <laughs> do you know me kim <laughs> um oh my gosh here's celia's cocktail hour vids love your vids thank you christopher love your last name chandonnay christopher chandonnay oh christopher chandonnay is that correct um happy weekend everybody Trigger warning, I'm drinking iced tea. <laughs> Rod, black tea with cardamom, triggered. Um, yeah, I think, I don't, I'm not triggered at that iced tea, I'm triggered at Lipton's iced tea, because it's just so weak. Like, not weak, it's just, it's just not tea. So they should rename it, in my opinion, they should rename Lipton's iced tea to sugary drink that's not tea, or <laughs> just something like that. Not that name, something more creative. Mm. Everyone's saying I'm drunk, but I'm not. But tip for the virtual bartender. <laughs> you guys crack me up. Stephanie, thank you. Uh, uh, these are funny. Um, Leah, check your DMs. Beans, I will be checking my DMs right now. I want to go see if anyone sent me any um, voice messages to play out loud. Because remember earlier? Um... Uh, Beans Gamers has sent me a DM, which I'll read out loud. I love you. Stay healthy, Leah. Thank you, Beans. 
and you stay healthy 2021 color of the years mind do you like uh, do you mind beans me reading this out loud um i i oh thank you so I, I, he's done some research for me about the colours of the year of the, the kitchen aids I was talking about and he's sending me colours of the year ideas. Thank you, Beans. I will look into this after the live stream so I can focus fully on the message of this research. Thank you. Um, and thanks, everyone, for tipping the virtual bartender. If you've just joined this live, welcome. It's um, an hour and a half in. I've cooked dinner. The dinner's sitting there on the hob. I mean, maybe I'll be able to show you. I don't want to take that off. Um, no, I don't want to unplug it. And um, we're now going for gin and tonic with some lime, some frozen berries and ice. And we're just here having a drink, chatting, catching up, getting deep, talking about the pandemic, talking about our life post pandemic. Um, <laughs> Kim said, I'm not the TK Maxx Kim. I'm just a US Kim that likes spending my Saturday with you. Oh, no worries. It's just, it's nice to be here with everyone. I mean, my dad said, Leah, I'm watching, it starts at 6 p.m. UK time. He said, Leah, I'll watch you for six till seven. Then seven o'clock, it's Greek MasterChef. So I'll be watching that. And I said, that's fine, dad, completely understand. So <laughs> I don't think my dad's here anymore because it's half seven now. Um, but yeah, I, I know that these do go on a long time. So I'm very grateful for anyone who drops in, drops out. I'm grateful for anyone who stays for the whole thing. Like, hello, pour a drink. Let's sit down and chat. Um, oh, the berries have softened. I really hope one falls into my mouth the next time I take a, a sip so that you don't see me kind of trying to fish it out. It just happens naturally. Let's try. Not quite, but next time. Ha! <coughs> <sighs> Some say I'm drunk. I don't think I am. Um, gosh, my phone is frozen on a phrase, frame of me that doesn't look very pretty. Um, is Atch on the phone? Correct, he is on the phone, yes. <laughs> oh, some people have just arrived. Leah looks so glam today. Thanks, guys. It must be the eyelashes. I mean, I know my makeup has faded. Oh, no! That's the sound of my computer someone sent me a whatsapp message so i'll just mute my computer computer mute where's the mute button please okay i've muted it um <laughs> oh leah you were kind of a greek master chef that is a very good point charlotte i kind of was um getting drunk with leah yeah Tipsy talk. Anyone got any deep questions they want me to answer? Now's the time, so I've got a gin in my hand. Mm. Oh, I love this comment, Rod. I need to find halloumi in the shops locally. I want to make the peri-peri halloumi burger. Um, yeah, that's not something I've made on my channel, but I'd be up for making the peri-peri halloumi burger. I think you're referring to the, must be the Nando's one, because it's peri-peri. Yeah, that's decent. <laughs> next live stream we'll not be cooking with Leah instead drinking with Leah oh my god what a great idea we've got next Saturday booked up that's a great idea virtual bartending with Leah maybe I can get a few different ingredients in there's actually something I really want to make it's um basically Michael one of you guys might know Michael Millard he's a regular um <laughs> he's a regular He's great. He, he was telling me about this thing that he adds into Prosecco. Um, I mean, I've asked him to, to message it me a million times and he already has. I've forgotten the name of it. And um, it like adds colour to it and it's got a nice flavour. And there's loads of different like cocktails that we talk about. So yeah, maybe I could do like making my subscribers um, co favourite cocktails on the live. That might be quite fun. That might be good. Um, just refreshing to see if anyone's got me any um, any questions. <laughs> Let's all get the ingredients list in advance and we can make it with you. Yeah, absolutely. I love that idea. Uh, Sherry said, Leah, have you got any pub tricks and what's your favourite karaoke song? My favourite karaoke song is something really easy. It's You've Got a Friend in Me from Toy Story. You've got a friend in me. 
Do, 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 do. You got a friend near me. I love that one because A, there's like no high notes in it. So no matter how much you've had to drink, you cannot butcher the song. And any pub tricks, good question. Any pub tricks? I think, um, eat before you go to the pub so that you're, <laughs> you're less likely to get really drunk so quickly. I think that's my biggest pub trick. I'm like, oh, I'm going to the pub, better eat something because I need to be able to hold my alcohol, hold my own and stay in the zone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's my pub trick. And finally, um, oh, from Joe Wicks cookbook. Yes, good point. Joe Wicks has got some really good ones in his veggie cookbook. Good point. Um, you'll get hammered. <laughs> oh, you guys just cracked me up. Um, Bruno, what's your favorite holiday destination? Either the US for fun times or Greece for like beach family vibes and um, exploring. So yeah, Greece for family, US for fun times with friends, getting drunk on rooftops. <laughs> yeah. Uh, gotta run thanks for the cooking lesson have a great night everyone all right everyone's heading off so i'm gonna head off as well um it's been so so nice to chat if you're still here give the video a big thumbs up and um i'll see you next saturday hopefully for another live show i always say hopefully i never promise anything and then it gets to saturday and i'm like well i can't possibly let anyone down can i <laughs> i must turn up so look i'll see you next saturday Thank you so much, as always, for all this chat, the support, just everything. You guys are just the best, the best, 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 best subscribers in the world. Um, thank you so everyone for their late fees. Very, very kind. I will love you all and I will leave you. Um, I will pop the recipe to the jackfruit thing I made in the description. I'll let you know if it's any good as well. I've never tried, I've never made that before. I just made it up as I went along, kind of loosely based on a recipe I found online a few days ago but then couldn't find again because I don't bookmark things. And that's everything. I will see you guys soon. Lots of love <laughs> over and out. I've got to find the end button now before it's too late. Oh, that's not, that was an annoying sound. It sounded obviously rude, but it was just my mouse squeaking. Bye everyone.